Before, after some time, every second armchair critic says, in the previous version, Ladybug was better, but is that really the case? Find out in this video. For example, when Adrian was a mysterious marriage agent, it was cooler, agree? And I remember those times when Natalie was blonde. Are you familiar with the final product of Miraculous? It's a 2015 TV series. Some know that there was also an anime concept, and the biggest fans will remember a version called Quantic. Well, if we compare them head to head, how exactly did the Ladybug characters change from early ideas to the current version? How did this all happen? How did our heroes change? Perhaps they had a different hair color, different outfits, eye color, or even personality. Spoiler, all together. By the way, in the first pinned comment, I put time codes on the heroes that interest you. In general, like this video, everything is interesting, and if you're here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. Marinette, the central heroine in Miraculous, was actually conceived back in 2009. Of course, over the years, she has changed both in appearance and character. In the first idea, her name was Marietta, and this was Thomas Astruck's idea. This girl later became Ladybug in a Ladybug costume, which would save the world. She looked like an Asian girl with a different eye shape, black hair, a pleasant smile, and a red ribbon that she never hid. In everyday life, she wore a red top, a white short skirt, and stockings. However, However, the superhero costume was almost the same as in the modern version. In later versions, we will see that Marietta eventually changed her appearance to a more European one. In the Quantic version, the girl's name was Bridget, her eye color was gray, and she was slightly tanned, typical of Asian descent. She wore polka dot red clothes with a black jacket and a gray purse. This was Bridget, who later transitioned into the anime version, which you probably know. Her hair finally turned blue and was braided into two long ponytails. The eye color became came blue, and she wore a black jacket, a white tank top, and denim shorts. Her heroic transformation lengthened her long ponytails, and the red ribbons became much longer. After this, they decided to cut off her long ponytails and rename her Marinette. In some versions, she had black hair, and in some, dark blue hair. In general, it depends on the rendering and the taste of the artist. The eye color remained gray or blue. Further attempts to change Marinette's style included a pink tank top and shorts with a bunch of charms, as well as a pink bow in her hair. If the designers hadn't realized that pink accents needed better placement, Marinette would have gone into the animated series with a bow. In the end, they came up with a version featuring a pink t-shirt with a floral print, pink strands, and the same bow. They then removed the pink color, as there were too many accents. The material shows that a few years ago, Marinette wore a bun on her head and a blue skirt. There were many changes to Marinette's purse as well, as the designers couldn't decide on a design. Both the room and the house also changed a lot, from clutter to Asian style, and in the final version, Asian accents remained but in a more modern manner. As for Cat Noir, his image changed but not as drastically as Marinette's. Cat costume remained almost unchanged, although in terms of power, it was initially intended for the black cat to create black holes, now he simply has the power of destruction. Previously, his name was Felix, and he was very gloomy, closed, cold, and selfish. Such an image would suit Adrian Moore, who is kept locked up at home by his father all his life, but after his first visit to school, he quickly adapted and forgot about his past. Felix had smoothly combed dark hair, gray eyes, dressed in black, and looked very solid. Later, his image was diluted with white and gray colors and a tie appeared. Note that the ring was different, and the eye color changed to green. In this version, Felix had a striped head and an enticing smile. This version of Felix eventually appeared in the third season of the animated series, but now he is Adrian's cousin. Then came the version of Adrian himself, who was made more optimistic and cheerful. Adrian became the main character, and his image became more friendly and open, which went well with his new friends and adventures at school. Sometimes, Adrian can be seen with short hair, wearing a dark sweater at home. This was an intermediate stage between Felix and Adrian. As with Marinette, Adrian's image was also heavily worked on. Initially, there were no colored stripes on his head. The version with green eyes in everyday life appeared later. It was shown that Adrian's clothing consisted of a blue t-shirt and jeans. The main enemy of superheroes and children in school restrooms also did not remain without a history of changes, as he was immediately conceived as the opposite of good. Many years ago, Gabriel was not Adrian's father, meaning Felix and Gabriel were not father and son in that version. Of course, no one kept Felix locked up. Gabriel was originally dressed in a purely white outfit and without his glasses. In the concepts, he had white hair, light gray eyes, and light eyebrows. Many years ago, in 2016 or 2017,
2017, another version of Gabriel's costume was shown, called version 02. It is unclear whether this concept will ever be used, as at the same event, a version of Emma's costume was shown, which had no design differences from the show's version. In one of the versions, Natalie was blonde, and she looked like a completely different person. Gabriel more closely resembles Natalie's image, to be honest. The fact that it was Natalie became clear only because of her height and the strand of hair she has in the series. In that version, Emily was also not fully alive. In general, Natalie looked very flashy in that version. Gorilla, Gabriel's bodyguard, and the Agresti's house also changed. Gorilla was originally supposed to have two, and they were twins with an unclear purple spot on their eye. However, later on, the designers decided to keep only one Gorilla bodyguard. Speaking of the main characters of the series, we immediately remember Chloe, a blonde girl who has also changed a lot. It seems to me that her initial prototype was a girl named Melody from Quantico Kids. This is her superhero name, we don't know her ordinary name. Yes, you're right, Chloe has very little in common with them. Dark jeans, a white sweater with a purple sleeveless top, a long braid tied with a purple elastic, purple stockings, and the eye color in superhero form was black and white. The flute from which fire was constructed, perhaps this idea with the flute was used for the weapon of Rena Rouge, the fox superhero. But over time, Melody started to turn yellow for some reason, and her eye color became blue. She had a different hairstyle, different clothes, and the experiments with style didn't end there. Sabrina, Chloe's friend, had only one previously shown version, a red bun with bangs, green leggings, and a green shirt. Green eyes were also part of her image. In general, the entire palette was as green as possible. Alia, Marinette's best friend, in the first version wore a red jumpsuit, she had orange glasses, not for vision, and no pink lips. After that, their design changed, now she is dressed in a pink t-shirt, raspberry pants, and glasses of the same color. In general, in the early versions, Alia was a big fan of colored glasses. Over time, a new look appeared, and the tips of her hair were dyed red, and the glasses turned into regular ones for vision. Her usual personal shirt, jeans with suspenders, which were later removed, as well as this ugly pink accessory, which was added for the type look how cool friends we are. Aaliyah's boyfriend, Nino, was also affected by the changes. In the first version, his eyes were olive colored, he wore a green hoodie, a cap, and orange headphones. This concept came from the Quantic Kids universe. Closer to the end, he wasn't changed dramatically, he can be recognized despite the different color of his t-shirt and headphones. Juleka, very much like an emo girl, white makeup, pink short hair, dark clothes, black nail polish, a guitar on her back, striped tights, her eyes were either green or light brown. Rose partially also adopted something from Melody, she had striped bangs and all her hair in curls, a cute pink dress. Madame Bustier, the primary school teacher, a bit different earlier, she was plumper in her build and had a different top for her costume. You can see how the secondary characters used to look before the final version, Mark in dark clothes, Bafana, and the Owl, Princess Fragrance and Anansi. Captain Hardrock had a wooden leg. Sandboy is beautiful everywhere as a separate kind of art. Dark Cupid, Frightening Gale, and Star Train also had earlier versions. Chloe's mother, Audrey Bourgeois, deserves special attention, in which each outfit was a work of designer art. However, in the final show, they created some kind of fashion disaster. Speaking of disasters, previously, Kagami was conceived with brown hair and black turtlenecks over semi-trans transparent tights. I don't know what the designers were thinking. Lila has no changes, except for the purple glasses on her head, which were later removed. Thank you for watching the video to this point. I hope it was interesting. Write in the comments which version of the hero from the past you liked. Personally, I would be extremely annoyed by the pink bow on Marinette. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel to learn about the newest and most interesting videos about Miraculous. Also, I have a Patreon, which you can check out. This was Black Cat. Bye everyone.